Hello everyone, I'm Karan Singh Surana and I'm back here with another video. This time on exposing social media. Well, I'm here to educate you on the do's and don'ts on social media. And believe me, you need education. Rule number one, never ever blindly believe in anything you read on a social media platform like Facebook, WhatsApp, Twitter, Hike or whatsoever. Cross check the facts before you start sharing the post like wildfire. Yes, yes, I'm sure that anything and everything you share is absolutely correct until four to five days later when the real news surfaces or someone bursts your bubble. Let's see a few examples, shall we? In 2014, during Modiji's election, a news surfaced that SRK has tweeted that he will leave India if Modiji wins the election. The whole social media was flooded with this news and people's reactions and comments. Only to be found out later that it was not SRK but KRK. I'm sure you have read about the infamous Jocelyn Cortez. The girl posts a picture of a guy on Facebook mentioning that he has harassed her. Everyone went berserk and the whole social media went on to defaming the guy only to be found out three days later that the girl was lying. Well, where do I start with in the Amir Khan's intolerance? All I can say is that watch the whole interview if you still haven't. Let's take a moment here and think, who is the real culprit behind such insensitive acts? It's the media. Yes, not social, just media. Media has been making the fool out of us innocent civilians since ages, even before social media came into existence. With the advent of social media, it got new tools to play with our mind. Go back to the 90s for a moment. A super hot type news appeared as a headline in the newspaper and it forced us to read the entire news. Come back in today's era, a news appears on your timeline. Instead of clicking on the link, all you do is click on the comment section and spy on whatever other people have commented. You frame your opinion based on that one line and whatever comments you have read and you post your comment accordingly. Even if someone opens up the link, they do not have the time to go beyond four to five lines and they post their comment based on whatever four to five lines they have read, while the truth stays hidden underneath. Like, comment, share. 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 It's so freaky satisfying. Why would anyone care about anything else? Listen up, people. The media knows our weak spots. And one such is nationality. Proud to be an Indian. Didn't you receive a message on WhatsApp about an year back for deleting WhatsApp and installing Telegram as it is the true Indian app? Only to be found out later that it is German, not Indian. You must have read or shared that UNESCO has declared our national anthem as the best in the world. <laughs> Got you, didn't I? Really? United Nations? Education? Social organization? Is so much devoid of work that it has now started judging national anthems? People, people, people. <laughs> ah, everyone's favorite image. India on the night of Diwali. Anna, for the last four years, we have been celebrating Diwali in exact same fashion. Every place burns the exact same amount of crackers and all has the same amount of lies, you know. Even Pakistan. For those of you who are still not aware, this is the image of population growth in India over a period of time. 
This is a collection of data, okay? And not a satellite image of India on one single night. And I can keep on going, you know. These are just few. There are so many more outside nationality. The three-headed snake. The equinox in which if you go out, you may die. Ta-da, you may die any day. The two moons. Huh? Mars will appear as a moon in the sky. Once in a lifetime experience. Yes. All I can say is, in the words of AIB, Bas, bohat hua. Kab tak chutiye manoge? Kab tak chutiye manoge? Kab tak chutiye manoge? Stop being educated, Gawars. Please, oh please, stop sharing those. If you love your mother, father, then share this posts. Oh my God. You know, I had to stop using Yahoo Mail because it was flooded with such emails. As a final word, stop falling victims of social media's propaganda. One, check the facts. Two, cross check the facts. Three, if you do not have time for one or two, then please do not share, like or comment just because the girl or guy you have crushed on has liked. Well, that was pretty much what I wanted to say. If you have any suggestions or recommendations on how we can get rid of such hoaxes, then do scribble in the comment box. Ah, like, share or subscribe is not something I have to explain to you. Do I? Well, I'm signing off. Hope to keep interacting with you guys. Stay blessed. Ta-da.